Greetings everyone. In this video we're going to learn how to fold the stellated icosahedron that you see here. Uh, and to do that we're going to create, first of all, we are folding a regular tetrahedron that you see here, created of all equilateral triangles. And to do this we're going to learn how to create an equilateral triangle via folding. Uh, and once that is uh, created you can see that you can fold the equilateral triangle to create your tetrahedron. Now what I recommend before you watch the video further is uh, answer the following question, try to answer the following question on your own. If you start with, an, uh, with a rectangular piece of paper like this, how is it possible to fold this into an equilateral triangle? This is a very simple to state task, but I found it to be remarkably difficult to come up with an elegant and clean uh, solution for that. So what I recommend is before you proceed any further watching the video, try to come up uh, with this on your own. Okay, I assume you tried this on your own a little bit now. So what we're going to do is we start with the rectangular uh, piece of paper and you're going to fold this along its longest side in such a manner so that you create its uh, midline. So I'm going to crease it like this you can see. Uh, what I do is I fold the piece along its longest side so that it is now halved, so that this mid-segment has been created. Okay. Once this mid-segment has been created, what we're going to do is we want to fold this corner in such a manner that this top left corner touches that mid-segment, as you can see it here. And as that happens, so there's actually two constraints here, one of them is that this corner should touch this midline, and then the second corner at the bottom, left uh, lower left corner, is where the crease starts. So you have to sort of uh, wiggle a little bit for this to happen, but once you have succeeded in these two constraints, observe the rest follows very nicely. The remaining part folds beautifully over the uh, other part. And what you're going to have is this little piece left, which is very easy at the back to fold on top of the other uh, part. So here is your equilateral triangle. Once it has been created, you can fold uh, the top part to touch the bottom and then fold the remaining parts uh, on top of the others so that you have a smaller version of the equilateral triangle. But observe when you unfold it, it creates uh, all the parts of a tetrahedron, which you can now tape. Now imagine you created uh, uh, 20 of these tetrahedra, and uh, what you can then do is fold them, uh, sorry, tape them together to create the stellated icosahedron that you see here. I'm going to have another uh, video, a Cabri 3D video, where this uh, last part is made much clearer, but in a nutshell the idea is going to be to create five of these tetrahedra together and tape them so that it creates a top dome and do the same at the bottom, five tetrahedra to create the lower dome and then you're gonna have 20, uh, sorry, uh, 10 uh, tetrahedra together creating an equator belt. So you will be able to uh, see this much clearer on the Cabri 3D demo, but um, this is how you can put this together. Um, I find making these shapes incredibly relaxing. It's almost meditative, um, so that's why I do them. Uh, I hope you can figure these uh, on your own and have a great time. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.